Can I get a, a number one meal, please? Andre, here is a simple yet powerful and old question. Dually or single rear wheel? Well, let's answer it once and for all by doing several tests and showing all the specs. And at the end of this, I got something great for you guys and for you. I want to see how both of them perform at my favorite place, the drive-thru. What? In this video, we'll be talking about specs between these two trucks, but also turning radius test, rough road test, and much more testing. Now, they're a little bit different because obviously, dually, not dually, but that is an AT4, their newest off-road based pickup truck. That is a Denali, their luxury pickup truck, both of which are big sellers for GMC. The turning radius of any truck is truly important for day-to-day -day driving. I mean, think about it. Parking, maneuvering, going through traffic, all those things matter, and that's all turning radius. And, well, this one is a narrower truck, and that one is a wider truck, so I think we know where this is gonna go. But... Wait, 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 wait. But what if you wanted a manlier truck, one that's wide in the shoulders and just macho? Well, then you want me. No, you want this, because even though it's not wide, it's taller, I got bigger tires, and that makes me a taller truck. What? Yeah, this is actually an off-road based truck, sort of. I mean, it's built for it. And yours is kind of like a street thing, like a cowboy with soft boots. What's wrong with these cowboy boots, dude? Well, those are manly, I'm talking about the soft ones. We're gonna mark the starting point with a cone and make basically a 180 and see the difference of turning radius with these trucks. Now this is where the 2500 short wheel base stop right here. Dead. Perfect. Ben coming. Keep on coming. Keep on coming. Whoa, 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 whoa. Nice shoot, Tex. Yeah, it's not even clizzle, my friend. Look. The issue is, is that no matter what, you would run that cone over and you're gonna be way over there before you're straightened out. Yes, yeah, so it's almost like a truck width is the difference. That's yeah. a big difference. Let's talk about wheelbase because they are different. So I'm starting here at the center of the hub and my amigo Andre is back there. I'm at the other center of the hub in the rear, and this is a standard bed 2500 GMC. 159 and a half inches approximately, and that matches the specification that GM actually lists for this truck. Uh, but here's the thing, you can get this single rear wheel truck either in a shorter bed or a long eight foot bed version, but the dually, that only comes as an eight foot bed. Let's measure. On the big dually, the wheelbase is close to 173 inches, which means it's about 14 inches longer than on that big 84 truck. This is needed for more stability. The dually is all about towing comfort and towing confidence. It's got a wide stance, it's got a long wheelbase. It can handle a big trailer like a fifth wheel with confidence. And of course, weight capacities is the main difference between these two. The 2500 84 truck that Nathan is driving, that has about 3,000 pounds of payload, which is actually really good for a four-wheel drive crew cab truck. But of course, when you need more capacity, dually is the way to go. 5,200 pounds of total payload and towing numbers, it's about 18,500 max towing on that 84, 31,000 right here on this dually 4x4. 
the hula girl test is pretty simple. We're running over a fairly bumpy stretch of paved road and it's rated from zero to 10. Zero being a perfect ride and 10 being the roughest ride ever. We are in the 84 truck. So why is your hand there? Because I'm, I'm steadying the, the hula girl. Now, unfortunately, tape is just not gonna do it. <laughs> and Andre's hand will. Hmm, not too bad. Dude, she's barely moving. She's not having a hard time so far. I'm gonna rate this so far. Let's see, that's the last one pretty much. That was no more than the three. No, and you know what? I mean, this does have range of shocks. This is not for suspension. And it has spongy tires by comparison. Of, yes, they are full. I mean, it's like, what, 80 PSI in the back or something like that? Yes. Which is crazy, but at the same time, all in all, she didn't move that much. All right, so let's see how the dually does. Andre, I can tell you right now, I think it's a little bit stiffer. <clears throat> well, no surprise. It's because we have beefy springs, mm -hmm. over 5,200 pounds of payload. So what are you going to give it? I gave mine a three. Actually, as far as duallys go, that wasn't too bad. Yeah. I would give it a four out of 10. These trucks have the same engine, right? They're the 6.6 .6 liter heavy duty Duramax engine, which puts out 855,000 horsepower and 655,000 pound feet of torque, or some ridiculous numbers like that. Well, yeah, sure, but you know, 445 horses and 910 pound feet of torque, which is monstrous. But today's test is not about pulling power necessarily right. or acceleration. We've done that in other videos. That is correct. Now, these both have the 10 speed automatic transmissions, and both of these have four wheel drive. Hell yeah. Okay, but that's pretty much where the similarity ends. Oh, no, wait, because they still have the same cabin and the same hood and the same doors, same front end, same bumper, same. Okay, so the rear really is where the difference is, right? The rear. Okay. We are at a undisclosed fast food joint that has a drive through one that is relatively tight. It should be a challenge for this. I honestly do not know how Andre is going to take that massive wide truck and squeeze it through here. Oh yeah, I'm gonna get myself some fries, a cheeseburger, maybe a shake, who knows. This is very, very narrow. Uh, that's all right, no problem. I've got the skill, the heavy duty truck, experience to make this turn just gonna make a little bit of a wider turn yeah oh, no no my experience never helped okay okay going through this way okay can i get a, a number one meal please okay so I'm gonna make a wide turn and I can see my 360 degree camera and I'm gonna use every inch, every inch of this particular driveway. Ooh. I can't quite do it. I, I just barely touched it, it's okay. Oh yeah, take that, dude, take that. I noticed you had to go back and come back in just oh. to get around that corner. Oh, no, 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 there was a, there was a little dog on the side. Of course there was, yeah. the size of a pit bull or <laughs> Sorry, dude, but it's just, it's obvious. It's really difficult to make that thing go through tight maneuvers. Yeah, so you are losing a few things with a dually, maneuverability, ride comfort when you're empty. But if you wanna go cross country with a gigantic trailer in crosswinds, you want the stability of a diesel dually. 
I mean, they are mighty and heavy duty, and they're also mighty wide. I mean, try getting through a drive-thru, right guys? But also in terms of just parking and living with it day to day, and even putting it in a garage from time to time, mm. it's a lot easier to have single rear wheel. And of course, don't forget, we have a live show on TFL Now channel, Mondays and Fridays at noon Pacific, 3 p.m. Eastern. That's right. We talk about cars on Monday, trucks on Friday, and go back to tfltruck.com for news, news, and real world reviews.